Good morning, YouTubers. What? Well, good morning, viewers. <laughs> Didn't know what happened there. But as you can see here, we have broken upwards of our Litecoin and obviously with Bitcoin as well simultaneously. Um, I do not think this is just the start of a big pump. I did say if we do hold above 122 that will, that I will flip um, to bullish. However, for that to actually happen and remain true, we need to go to the weekly time frame and we need to see a nice big close above the weekly EMA. And what do you do? Look, we're literally right here. Um, testing testing it right now. So you guys have to remember that this stuff happens all the time when we continue downtrends. We come down, we test the EMAs, 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 and potentially we come down right there. And you can see here I've drawn the circles on them before because we've, we've been through this many times and they're just permanent circles now that I've left on there. And typically, if we do get rejected from this point, we will see a touchdown at 120 um, 117, sorry, and then potentially down all the way to 186 is where my key target is right now. Because you can see that so much resistance is, support is here and it matches up with the previous low and obviously a really strong descending support. So I do think that we need to get to these levels. But like I said, I'm here to show you guys in the short term so you guys can trade and see what's going on. But I'm just showing you guys this so you know that I haven't flipped bullish yet. We need to get above this level and hold above this red line. Okay. That's why, that's why that red line's on there. It's been on there for months now, okay? So let's go to chart. Let's go to the full hourly time frame. What can we see? Well, this is really important for us to be able to actually analyze this right now. We can see a very, very nice, strong uptrend happening, okay? Like a really, really strong uptrend. Like if you can draw this, if you'll even struggle to draw this. You can see that it's touching every single point here on a blue. Let's make this an orange, okay? And you can see on another one, oh, it's going to be a bit difficult to draw the... Um, downwards one but you can see it's right here really really aggressive channel we're forming here okay this is bearish pattern typically if we do break this we will see a drop straight back down towards 106 i wouldn't put my stop my stop um, take profit around here i'd put my take profit about here or maybe even here if we got a trade coming down um just so it's a nice easy to easy take profit and easy um wins for us but we haven't entered any trades yet um, i am looking for some potential market structure is to show us that the price is exhausting the price is um, not going up anymore like you can see here high wick to the upside right here and, and two more high wicks to follow it so that's three high wicks here could show price decelerating to the downside maybe coming down to test this channel once more however we've touched this channel how many times guys let's count okay since the key point we've touched it once twice three times so could this be the break I do think that this could be the break. If we do come down, I do expect us to start to see, oops, see a come down, a pump back up to retest, and then a drop. And that also forms a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. So bear all this in mind, guys. This is really, really crucial for that you guys are understanding this. Um, 126, really, really good prices for Litecoin right now. If you are, if you have bought in at these lower levels, I would start taking some profits up here. I do expect a big major drop to happen um, randomly with the stock market, and that will obviously bring down these markets too. On the shorter time frame, what can we see? I'm not going to go to the one hour. I'm going to go straight to the 15 minute time frame. You can see the EMA is starting to cross bearish. Okay, if this does happen, we will 100,000% see a touch come down to this level. We can already see a 50 minute head and shoulders pattern playing out. Left shoulder, head, and the right shoulder. This would actually have a um, target of. Let's show, let's see what this is. target of 123 okay so that is that's a pretty big drop from where we are it does match up in line with this pretty perfectly so we could actually see a little, nice little touch down to this level come back up and then start to see a little decline like this that's what we can look at and look towards but overall guys this is what i'm actually looking at and indicating for my pricing moves for litecoin you can see that this head and shoulders playing out very very nicely okay so keep that in mind now let's go towards Bitcoin because you guys obviously want to see where the bigger markets are playing because they obviously um, correlate to where the altcoins move to. So for Bitcoin, we can see here, this is that key point that we were actually looking at, the eclipse, right? We're at that exact level. Okay, yeah, we've, we've currently put... Um, held above the 44k level this is a very very strong point and 44 and a half is always what we've always said to you guys we need to get above and look how hard it is for us to get above the 45k level okay really really hard we failed once twice three times and a lot here 
If we do get above it, that is Pump City. We can actually see a big pump, as you can see here. We do touch these levels in order to get a big pull up, um, a big pull up, big pull up, big pull up, massive pull up. So you can see that this there is massive potential for us to actually continue upwards on a big run. However, I do still think that there is bigger downside to come. If a lot of people are expecting it, it's not going to happen. And a lot of people are expecting a massive pump to happen. You can see typically we do actually start coming outwards to form these higher wicks, these higher tests of these upper channels. So I, I am expecting us to potentially poke our heads through the 45k mark right here and then start seeing a bit of a decline down this is typical why is this typical well for people who actually are wanting to short the market like me right now um, you put your stop losses here a bit too early and you, because you're worried about missing it and you you know you, you, you enter your stop uh, your short trade here and you wait for us to come down from now um, the price will go up hit you out and then start falling i'm sure you guys have always, always um, felt that where it hits your stop loss and then continues down that is what we're on about you put your stop loss here too early and then you go there and then it just wipes you out before it comes down so have to be very very careful with how the markets move guys um, i do think that this will actually start seeing a decline down of course if we do move this up towards the um the wicks you can see that it touches a majority of the wicks very very perfectly very nicely and it touches our wick awesome you can see it just touched it and then got rejected from it perfectly so we could see a bit of a drop now however i am waiting for like a little bit of a market structure to show us what's happening maybe a bit of a bull flag um sorry bear flag just like this to show us that okay price can start coming down now things like that but i do think that if we do come down we'll come down to about here get a little pump come down form this little head and shoulders pattern and then start to see a bigger um enough pump to break through below the 41k level why am i saying that well because if we do form this head and shoulders we'll get enough momentum from the top to the neckline to push us straight through to 39k and where does that line up with that lines up with our previous support over here this obviously this rectangle right here where we have a lot of cluster as you can see a massive massive cluster of support right here you can see beautiful support and it lines up perfectly i told you confidences guys you trade the confidences and there are so many confidences right now telling us that this market is coming back down so even though yep it's looking nice price is amazing for bitcoin yes it really is if you guys did get in on, on any longs well done to you because they were brilliant you made loads of money i didn't get on any longs which i didn't trust the market at that time and i still don't trust the market i think this is just a massive ginormous bull trap and i'm pretty sure even if we pump a little bit higher it will still be a bull trap but that's it for today's video, guys. We well, can see that we're still pumping extremely aggressively out of this wedge, which is an extremely bearish pattern. Um, but yeah, stay safe. Trade the market safe. If you are looking to trade and earn money and learn how to trade, join the Patreon down below. I think there's only six spaces remaining right now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.